I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about black seed oil as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Black seed oil is extracted from Nigella sativa. It's a plant belonging to the family of the buttercup. It's native to Southern Europe, North Africa, and Asia Minor, and known as black seed because when the seeds are exposed to air, they turn black. Black seed has been used for millennia, as mentioned in ancient texts, for a variety of health issues. Several archaeological sites in Egypt, including King Tut's tomb, contain Nigella sativa seeds. Queen Nefertiti is reported to have been a devoted user of black seed oil and gave it credit for her beautiful complexion. The earliest written reference is in the book of Isaiah in the Bible where it was re referenced as ketza in Hebrew and was used as a baking spice. And the prophet Muhammad described the curative powers of black seeds saying, it has the remedy for every illness except death. Persian physician and philosopher Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, recommended black seed oil in his canon of medicine as a remedy for colds, fever, headache, toothache, skin diseases, wounds, fungus, parasites, warts, and insect bites. The main bioactive compounds in black seed oil include several different oils, including the most prolific one, thymoquinone which is between 30 and 40 percent of the oil. Now, most of the nootropic benefit of black seed oil is attributed to thymoquinone. Black seed oil boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, black seed oil for attention, cognition, and memory. Now, animal studies show that black seed oil is effective for boosting memory in aged rats. And these findings are also demonstrated in human experiments. One study by the University of Dhaka in Bangladesh recruited 40 elderly volunteers and divided them randomly into groups A and group B. Group A were given 500 milligrams of black seed oil twice a day for nine weeks. And group B received a placebo. Now, neurological measures for this trial included a logical memory test, a digit span test, the Roy Osterreith complex figure test, the letter cancellation test, the trail making test, and the Stroop test. The Roy Osterreith complex figure test is particularly interesting. Now, people are asked to reproduce a complicated line drawing first by copying it freehand and then drawing it from memory. Now, the test permits the evaluation of things like visual spatial abilities, memory, attention, planning, working memory, and executive function. The study concluded that black seed oil supplementation for nine weeks demonstrated significant role in enhancing attention, cognition, and memory. And then another study in 48 young men, aged 14 to 17, who used 500 milligrams of black seed oil per day for four weeks, had better short and long-term memory and recall. Now, the second way black seed oil helps it works in your brain is black seed oil reduces seizures. Sometimes. Black seed oil is known to have an anticonvulsive effects in traditional medicine, and because many epileptic children do not respond to modern anti-seizure medication, researchers have been conducting studies to find out if black seed oil could fill this need. Now, one study done in Iran worked with 22 patients who were divided into two groups. In this double-blinded crossover study, thymoquinone was compared to standard anti-epileptic drugs over a period of four weeks. Now, the study concluded that thymoquinone, the main active compound found in black seed oil, has anti-epileptic effects in children with refractory seizures. Now, other studies have not been as promising. One study worked with 30 intractable epileptic children and five healthy kids used to controls, and here again black seed oil was compared to anti-epileptic drugs over the four-week trial. Researchers in this study 
found that 40 to 80 milligrams per kilogram per day of black seed oil as add-on therapy did not alter seizure frequency or severity in intractable epileptic patients. Now, another study with 20 epileptic children aged 13 years used an aqueous extract of black seed oil, which was 40 milligrams per kilogram, three times a day for four weeks. Now, in this study, seizure frequency was reduced significantly during treatment. Now, the takeaway here for using black seed oil, if you are hoping to reduce the number and frequency of epileptic seizures, is that it may or it may not work, but it doesn't hurt to try. Thymoquinone, or TQ, as it's also called, is the primary active component of volatile oil in black seed, or nigella sativa, and most of its effects and actions are related to TQ. Black seed oil is anti-tumor, antimicrobial, antihistamine, it modulates your immune system, is an anti-inflammatory, and acts as an antioxidant. Now, in traditional system medicine practices in the Arabian Gulf region, black seed is recommended for fever, cough, bronchitis, asthma, chronic headache, migraine, dizziness, chest congestion, obesity, diabetes, paralysis, back pain, infection, inflammation, rheumatism, hypertension, and gastro issues like dyspepsia, flatulence, dysentery, and diarrhea. Over 150 clinical studies over the last five decades have investigated the chemical and health benefit properties of black seed oil, and these studies justify the broad and traditional therapeutic value of black seed. Now, as a nootropic, studies show that black seed oil helps with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, depression, brain inflammation, epilepsy, reduced blood flow, glial tumors, and traumatic brain injury. If you have not yet experienced the benefits of black seed oil, check out some of the comments and reviews left by others who have. Neurohackers report that using black seed oil daily makes them feel better and they've got more energy. Several people say using black seed oil helps relieve their migraine sy symptoms. And a couple of people commented that black seed oil gave them vivid dreams. And some say it helps keep their allergies under control. And like Queen Nefertiti, some report their skin looks more youthful. Black seed oil is said to reduce inflammation and balance hormones. Others say they get powerful relief from pain. One person reported they had lost 11 pounds, her joints weren't aching, no more constipation, and her sleep had improved tremendously, and she was only one quarter of the way through the bottle. Now, another longtime user of black seed oil said he hadn't been sick in over two years, and several neurohackers say black seed oil helps them quickly fall asleep. Now, I've done extensive research on black seed oil, and you'll find links to it and some brief briefs of the studies or abstracts of the studies in the research section of the original transcript of this video over on Neutropics Expert. I've got one on black seed oil boost memory. I've got another one for black seed oil for anxiety. I've got another one for black seed oil reduces seizure frequency. And I've got another one for black seed oil for opiate withdrawal. Now, I'm going to talk about this one for a minute because it's such a problem in our society. You can go to Neutropics Expert and go to the original transcript of this video and see the rest of this research. Here, I'm going to talk about opiate withdrawal for a second. Opiate addiction is a major problem in our society with headlines every week about the number of deaths from opiate overdose. The most successful treatment we have so far for quitting opiates are 12-step programs but the su success rates in recovery and those ending up in relapse demonstrate how difficult it is to get off of these powerful drugs. But a new and novel treatment for dealing with opiate withdrawal symptoms may help. A study was done in Karachi to find a non-opiate treatment for opiate withdrawal. 35 opiate addicts were recruited for this clinical trial. While details are kind of sketchy, the study found that 500 milligrams of nigella sativa significantly reduced opiate withdrawal symptoms. The researchers concluded that non-opioid drug nigella sativa 
is effective in long-term treatment of opioid dependence. It not merely cures the opioid dependence, but it also cures the infections and weakness from which the majority of addicts suffer. And I've got a link through to the original clinical trial if you want to check this out on the original transcript. Recommended dosage of black seed oil is one to three teaspoons per day. Now, if you've never used black seed oil before, start with a half a teaspoon and see how and if your body reacts. Now, children under 11 years should only use half the adult dosage, and kids under 5 years only a drop or two to start with. Now, Nigella sativa extract seeds or powder dosage is 1 to 3 grams per day, and potency can vary between brands which can affect dosage, so check the labels carefully. Black seed oil is considered non-toxic and safe to use at recommended doses. Now know that more is not better, especially with this nootropic. Black seed oil has a nasty taste, and to me, it tastes a lot like gasoline. So beware if this is your first time, and you have some, make sure that you have something handy to chase it with, especially if you don't like the taste. Now you should not use black seed oil if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. It's best to check with your doctor before using black seed oil, especially if you're dealing with a chronic health condition or are currently make, taking medication. Do not use black seed oil if you have any kind of a bleeding disorder or plan on doing surgery of any kind. And if you have low blood pressure, black seed oil could make this condition worse. And too much black seed oil or more than the recommended dosage could cause liver or kidney damage. And on your skin, if you use it topically, black seed oil may cause a rash or hives. So it's best to do a small patch test before using a regular dose. Black seed oil is easily found in most health food stores and vitamin shops worldwide. It's available as black seed oil in a bottle or black seed extract as a powder. The oil version in the bottles is most common. Now always go for organic black seed oil to ensure you're not getting any toxic pesticides mixed into your oil. And select black seed oil that comes in a dark amber glass bottle which helps prevent it from growing rancid. Choose an oil that is cold pressed because other methods of extraction involve high heat which can damage the beneficial compounds and fatty acids in the oil and you'll end up with black seed oil that's useless. I recommend and use Amazing Herbs Egyptian black seed oil because it's milder tasting. It works and it has good reviews, and they also sell a black seed oil soft gel if you can't stand the taste. Each soft gel is equivalent to about a quarter of a teaspoon of oil. So, my nootropics expert recommendation is I do recommend black seed oil, and that's my report on black seed oil. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for black seed oil, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using black seed oil, use the comments section at the bottom of the post over in Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. Just go to nootropicsexpert.com and, and put in your email address. And while you're there, get a copy of my book, Head First. If you think you could use a little extra help, you can also consider booking a personal consultation with me. Links are below this video and over in the main menu on Nootropics Expert. Now, if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting out new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.